There were once five students at Dawson High School who each excelled in their own unique ways. Everyone looked up to them in their respective fields. You've got Ben, first-year clarinet player and four-year All-Stater and Win Ensemble member. Newton's second law, go for it. Second law Will, the advanced physics and chemistry genius. This law highlights the direct proportionality between the force of an object and the rate at which its velocity changes in an inertial reference frame. Excellent job, Mr. Mines. Mr. Chang, you have some catching up to do. <sighs> yes, sir. This is Ryan Chang. He'll be important later. And this is Waylon. We'll get to him later, too. Nathan, three-year varsity quarterback and MVP. Tian, UIL computer science state champion. More fluent in Java than in English. Tian, you're a great computer science student. Oh my God, Andrew, typical so hot guy. Hot. He gets all the ladies. Back to this loser, Ryan. He's your typical high school outcast. He has no friends, he was constantly bullied, and he's actually bad at, like, everything. Dot, dot, dot. Hey girls! What do you want? I offer 10 is even you are 10 out of 10! Get away, you freak! <laughs> hey girls! Hey Andrew! Newton's second law, go for it! Uh, area equals base times height? Not quite. How to computer? Ah, wait, why isn't that working? Wait, what the heck? What's going on? Man, how can Tian do this but not me? Remember Waylon from earlier? Well, he's actually the assistant to Dr. Brandon Hong, an aspiring mad scientist who has been working on a top secret chemical formula. Have you found a good test subject yet? Yes. His name's Ryan Chang. I've been observing him for a few weeks now, and I think he'd be perfect to be tested on. Sounds good. Tell him to collect the DNA from people who have skills he desires. Okay, I'll bring him and the DNA he's collected next week. All right, I'll see you then. Mr. Ryan. Hey. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Waylon. It's nice to meet you. Hello. This may come as a shock, but I've been monitoring you from a distance for a few weeks now, and I know what you've been going through. I can offer you anything you want, and much more. Really? Well, how are you gonna do that? I know it may be hard to believe, but I know a great scientist who's been working on a new serum. Although it's still in its experimental phase, I believe it can improve you in every way. Well, what do I gotta do to get my hands on the serum? It's simple. All you have to do is gather DNA of people who have skills you desire. Give it to me, and I'll leave the rest to my boss. Deal? Deal! Ryan went on to collect the DNA. I got you. Thanks, bro. <laughs> You're so oh, hot, hi, Andrew. Oh my, oh, my god. Andrew, Andrew so your hair's so perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so hot. All right, Ryan. We have to finish this physics project really soon. Hold this under the roof. <laughs> Here you go, boss. 
I want to be hot. I want to be athletic. I want to be good at clarinet. I want to be good at physics. And I want to be good at computer science. No problem. My serum can give you all this and much more. Oh boy, I can't wait. Give me the serum, doc. Don't worry, I'll make it now. And now for the DNA. And now, for the final ingredient. The serum is finally ready. Okay, thanks, Doc! Wait, don't drink too much! Ah, that was yummy! What happened? Wait, where's Dr. Han? Whoa, I feel amazing! My wish came true! Dr. Han, wherever you are, thank you! Five, six. Oh my gosh, you're so much hotter than Andrew. What the heck? Those are my girls. Certainly these government firewalls have nothing against me. What can you tell me about kinetic energy? The formula is one half mv squared, and it combines with potential energy to create mechanical energy. Yes. However, you failed to mention that its change is equal to the work done on an object as driven by the work energy theorem. Additionally, you can find the instantaneous power of an object by differentiating the kinetic energy of a function with respect to time. Hey, you guys know that kid Ryan Chang? Yeah, he's been acting really weird lately. Yeah, it seems like he's gotten so much better at everything. Wait, you guys have been feeling that way too? Yeah, the other day he had a bunch of hot girls around him too. Those used to be my girlfriends. And that skinny kid knocked me down in football practice. Dude, he did 20 travel laps in five minutes. And he passed off all of his marching band music backwards. Stop it all off. You got 110 on the last physics test. Something's definitely not right. Sup, <laughs> losers. Hey, Ryan, what's up? None of your business, kid. We're talking about the English project, right, guys? Yeah, totally. All right, all right. I'll to catch you kids later. Something definitely isn't right here. Yeah, I don't know about y'all, but I'm gonna go find out what's up with him. What's wrong, Will? He's been stuttering and twitching badly. Those are key symptoms of chemical X. Wait, what's that? I don't know too much about it now, but if we don't look into it, we could be in some huge trouble. Hey Brian, where are you going? Hey Andrew, what's up? Hey, I noticed you've been real touchy with my girls lately. I don't know how I feel about that. I bet you do. Whoa, hey, somebody's gotten strong. Shut up! I'm telling you guys always mocking me. The doctor gave me everything. I don't need you guys anymore. What? Ryan, what are you doing? It's funny. I've always liked you the least. <laughs> What's wrong? I'm worried. About what? 
Did you hear about the murder? No, what happened? Angela Cohn died last night. He was a student at Dawson. He was also one of the people that Ryan took DNA from. And what's worse is the cops think that Ryan killed him. I was afraid this was going to happen. Open up! Could it be? I didn't expect it to get this far. I said, open up! Grab something. You ready? I can stop it. I've been waiting for this. Why are you doing this? I gave you everything. I helped you. You don't know what I wanted. You have no idea what I've been through. Now with the two of you out of the way, I'm unstoppable. You don't have to do this. We can work together. I work alone. Stop. The boys have no idea of what Ryan is capable of. They will soon confront the forbidden power granted to Ryan by Chemical X. Extreme stuttering and twitching are key symptoms of Chemical X. I noticed both of these in Ryan. Tian, see what you can find out about it. I'm already on it. But that doesn't explain why he's gotten so good at everything. You're right. That doesn't make much sense. It says here that Chemical X enhances a person's various abilities, but only when combined with the DNA of people who possess exceptionality in those abilities. Additionally, it significantly increases the speed of a person's cognitive and motor skills, and gives them incredible full body strength. Essentially, it just turns them into a superhuman. That would explain everything that's been happening recently. A famous scientist named Dr. Brandon Hong has been intensively researching this chemical for the past few years. Where is his research lab? How convenient. It shows that his lab is about five miles north of here. I've got the address. Wait a minute. Oh no. What is it? In some forms, Chemical X is critically unstable and can result in murderous desires and other uncontrollably violent tendencies. He isn't gonna kill us, is he? There's no way that's him. Get the bat. Oh crap. Guess who? We lost him. That was so crazy. Wait, where's Tian? He didn't make it. Well, what do you do now? I'll take you guys home. We'll visit Dr. Hong tomorrow. Thank you. 
He is gone. Is that Dr. Hong? Dr. Hong, are you okay? <coughs> the antidote. Stop. Is this it? It better be. We need to find him and stop him as soon as possible. We have to get out of here. Let's go. So how are we gonna stop Ryan? Dr. Hong pointed at this and said it was the antidote. I think it's the key to stopping him. Well, how are we gonna get Ryan to drink this? I have a plan. It's him! Let's go get him. Wait, where did he go? Let's split up. Well, he's over there! Which way did he go? took everything away from me. What did you do to him? Your friend didn't stand a chance. Get back down! Oh man, I hope I'm not too late. Let go of me! Pinch his nose! <laughs> Why? <laughs> no. I think we should make sure he's dead. Then we'd be killers just like him. We don't know if he's dead, and we don't even know if that's the real antidote. We can't risk having a monster like him back in this world. Well then what do we do with him? We have to kill him humanely. I know he's a monster, but deep inside, he's still a person. There's a river nearby. Let's get this deed done. And Andrew. And Dr. Hong. One, two, three. Let's go home. <laughs>